YouTube. Got a fun little video today. Uh, it is currently zero degrees outside, so I'm not going to be working on the rental house today. It's just too cold. So I have something behind me that I am going to work on in my garage here. You'll see I've got an antique York safe. Now a little background on the safe. This, oh, probably two or three years ago at a online auction. It was a business uh, not far from here that was going out of business. They were selling all the fixtures, inventory, everything, and this safe was along with it. So I, just for the heck of it, bid on it. I thought it was kind of cool. I, I'm sure there's nothing in it, but uh, it was, when I got it, it was gray and green and black, three different colors of paint. I think it was like house paint. So I stripped it all, got it down to bare metal, and I think with fresh coat of paint, it just looked cool. Kind of be a neat little end table by next to a, a couch or something like that. So anyway, uh, but I want to make sure there's nothing in it. So I am going to attempt to break into it. And uh, just a heads up, I did call to see if a locksmith would break into it for me and they wanted $250. And well, I can buy an antique safe with the combination for $250. So I figure I got 65 bucks into it. I will break into it and then uh, repair what I break into and slap a coat of paint on it and it should look, you know, like it's never been broken into. So the plan is to go in through the side. Now watch some other videos on this. It's gonna have this metal exterior shell and then there's gonna be a layer of fireproof concrete inside and then there'll be the inner wall, which will be metal as well. So you can see I've laid out a, a mark for, uh, I'm going to cut through the exterior. I'm going to, I'm gonna do my best not to bend it or anything like that. And then when I'm done and find out there's nothing in there or treasure in there, then I will be able to weld this panel back on and put some uh, Bondo on it and paint it and you'll never know I was in there. So that's the plan. Stick along, stick around and uh, see if we find any treasure. All right, thanks. Okay, here we go. We're gonna break into this safe and find some treasure. So first up, safety glasses. We're gonna come at it with the angle grinder and see if we can't cut into this. There's the first cut. I'll save you the uh, time of watching all this. I'll speed it up once we get this out. All right. All right, here we go. I think we got just about this plate to come off. So one little more, one more little cut. All right, let's see what's inside the wall of a safe. Yep, that's what I thought, concrete. Let's see this. Actually, it's coming out pretty easy, so let's see what's behind it.
There's the interior wall of the safe. So I'll do a little bit more, get this cleaned out, get the mess here cleaned out, and then we'll cut into that. So here we go. All right, we made it through, got it cleaned up. So now we just got to go through the second section of metal and hopefully we'll find some treasure. Here we go. See what's in here. Come on, Craig. All right, well, looks like we got plywood. So, let's do a little more cutting here. expecting that plywood there but we're gonna try to drill through it and then cut it out with a jigsaw so let's find some treasure Okay, that took a little longer. <laughs> I didn't have my jigsaw with me, so we are, I drilled through it with the drill. I think we're about there. So we're gonna do the last with the hammer, find us some treasure. There's interior plywood. Oh, I see stuff. I don't know what it is. Let's get you closer. If you can tell, right back here, there's some sort of paper. So, we're gonna do this together, take a big whack. All right. Is it treasure? I don't know. Let's see, oh, oh, I see something over there. That's odd. Oh, I wonder if this is one of those fake boxes. Yeah, it's a fake outlet box. And you can put stuff in it. Keep it safe. All right, well, we'll open that later. I don't see anything over there, but I do see something right there. Let's see what we got. Okay, so we've got a wallet of some sort. Open it up. Okay, there's uh, some personal information. I'm not going to show that. It's like just some pictures. Pictures. So, just a wallet of pictures. Okay, so nothing too exciting there. Uh, you've got the interior boxes, so let's see if I can get into those from this side. So I'm going to put you back on the stand. We'll see what we find. Okay, nothing in there. That was kind of cool, though. I mean, it doesn't look real, but cool idea. There's more papers in here. There's a lot of papers in there. All right, let's go. All right. 
right. Brown paper bag. Something in it. Oh, there's a manila envelope. Get some ammunition. Looks like 22. So, yep, there we go. Nothing else in the bag. No envelope. Looks like insurance information. Interesting. Dated, got a date, 1998. All right. Empty envelope. Maybe somebody's payroll or something like that. Oh. Thanks, Dub. Got some coins. Coins in the bag. Cool. We'll look into that later. There's still more in here. Alright. Don't know what's in here. Feels light. Uh, looks like maybe more personal information. Got a name, looks like somebody's will. Okay. Attorney, another will. Okay, so I'll probably try to contact that attorney, see if I can get that back to whoever might need it. That might be it, guys. Let's see. There's that. Well, I think that's it. So, didn't find a treasure. Let's see what coins we got. All right, looks like we got some silver. Cool. We got, uh, what are these half dollars? Yeah. Some half dollars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So five bucks, uh, about five dollars and forty cents and change. So very cool. We didn't get rich, but it was fun. And uh, I can still weld this piece back in, paint it, and you'll never know I was in there. So thanks for watching, guys. That was fun. You know, it was worth a shot. Could have hit it big, but we didn't. So, oh, well, that was fun. All right, thanks, guys. Have a good one. Hey there YouTube, uh, just came across another discovery, uh, was putting my hand in the safe just to make sure I'd gotten everything out, reached up and found there was a drawer in there that hadn't fallen down when I, when I broke through the side. So took a little work with a hammer and a, a, a screwdriver, but I got it to come down. So let's see what we got in this one. Yeah, there's the drawer looking good so far. Now they're probably empty. I don't know, but, uh, Kind of excited now. So this this drawer was, if you look right here, was straight up. So that's why I couldn't get to it. So I pulled it down, was able to pull it down. And there's actually, there may be another drawer up there. I don't know, I'll have to, feels like there could be another, a second drawer up there. Yep, it feels like there may be a little lockbox up there. But let's see what's in this drawer. So there you see it's a little locked area within a locked safe. Okay, so we got a couple jewelry box containers and matches. 
Oh, there's something in here. Oh, jackpot. Oh, yeah. I see gold. I see a lot of gold. I see diamonds. Oh, jackpot. Here we go. Oh, that's got some weight to it. That's a gold ring. Gold Nike ring. That looks like diamonds. I don't know if they're real. That's definitely got some gold to it. Um, see if we got a... Sorry. I'll have to zoom in see if I can find a... a uh, let me stamp on that. That kind of... I'm guessing that may be a fake. That looks a little... Oh, we got more. What do we got in here? Jackpot. More gold. There we go. Gotta like it when it says 14K. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, ten rings. Uh, looks like four or five of them are gold. Some silver. There we go, and there may be another box. I don't know. This is getting exciting. So I'll check back once I get, make some uh, headway on the other box. All right. All right, YouTube, here we're at. Here's the treasure, actual treasure this time. Looks like we got 10 rings. Uh, three of them are for sure gold rings. I can see markings on them. Uh, there's a couple others that feel like they may be. This Nike ring is pretty heavy. Um, but I can't see a marking on it, so I'll have to test that. But uh, the good news is, there's another drawer in there. So looking at the safe right here, this drawer was located right here. And then there's another drawer above it. Now the interesting part is, this drawer had a key on the front. When I reach up into the safe, the next drawer feels like it has metal hinges on it as in maybe like a locked uh, compartment within the safe uh, but it definitely has a ooh that me I don't know I think I can get it out so I'm gonna keep working on this and I'll bring you guys back when I pull it down and hopefully we find some more treasure all right bottom of it maybe or maybe just a divider no there's definitely ooh this one's definitely it's metal it's not a wooden box it's metal uh, but hopefully I can keep breaking this support out and bring the metal box down so we're gonna keep trying Hopefully this isn't bolted to the wall of the safe or something because it might be. It seems like it's in there pretty good. I'm going to see if I can get a crowbar in there. There we go. Got it. Oh, cool. Ah, uh, I don't think there's anything in it. Well, oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, that's definitely what I was feeling. There's there's something in it, but it's something small. I don't think it's it could be the key for it for all I know. But glad we found those rings and I kept looking. I well, we better make sure there's nothing else in there.
No, I can definitely feel all sides of the safe now. And that's a solid bottom, so I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's solid. So anyway, fun stuff. We found a little bit of treasure. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll update if there's anything in here. I'll probably have to drill that out. But there we go. Finding treasure in a safe. There it is. No treasure. Three screws. <laughs> oh well, that was fun. All right, we'll get those uh, rings checked out and see how many more are gold. But uh, pretty good. Pretty happy with this. So thanks again for watching.